has just been blipping for a while now and I'm going to leave it blipping. In fact, what I've decided to do is to miss out the old um, next bit, which I was going to put it in the casserole dish in the oven. Mm, yes, indeed. So, I decided that I'm going to knock that on the head and uh, just cook it in the pan. Now, what I have done is add some potato and I cut the potato into a, a chips and then I cut the chips down into little blocks about a centimetre big and I pop them in but as this is going to sit on here and blip uh, for some time and what I mean by blip is if you see that that little bubbly bit going on on the top there that's known in the business as a blip. No, seriously, it is. Uh, so, we're going to leave the blip going on for a while. So, all that's in there the chicken, the. Uh, I was going to say papaya. I was going to say papaya. Papaya is that. There is sweet potato, which is probably why it's getting mixed up. Carrot. So let me add potato, onion, peppers, all sorts. Neat lovely. Parsnips too. It's kind of, you know, a nice autumn thing going down. So I've got like a nice broth that I can make. I can keep some of the chicken back and make a, um, a chicken soup with the remains, so I can split this up into three meals. Now, if you're a bloke, and you live on your own, stop buying that rubbish that's in boxes in the freezers in your local supermarkets. Do you know what's in them? No, you don't. And even if you are not you know, a microbiologist or a chemist, the chance of you knowing what's actually in that stuff is very rare. Most of it is to make sure that it has an extended shelf life, can still be cooked in about 50 years' time, and the uh, nutrition is, well, extended nothing. So let's cook properly, shall we? Hmm? Cook proper vegetables, proper meat that's fresh. Or fresh when you buy it, you can always freeze it, take it out, and later defrost it's still fresh. Okay. Even if it's been in the freezer for like two months, and you take it out and defrost it, it's still fresh because it was fresh when you put it in there. And because obviously um, the freezer suspects inanimate. You know, so, at the moment, we have this nice pan blipping away keeping all that beautiful flavour together and it will be beautiful absolutely I suggest that if you're going to have this as a soup that I would suggest a wholemeal bread with butter or your favourite margarine not TV possibly radio but not TV and sit there and enjoy it and pay no attention to what's going on around. Just eat and enjoy the flavour because that's what life is about. Now, I need to go over behind the camera and get a spoon to stir this with. This is a small kitchen, not smallish. So I'm saying it's roughly in a good place. Now look at that chicken. That is a lovely piece of chicken right there. Two fillets. It could have a bearing on the point that I'm a greedy sod, but it also could, also could be <coughs> the point that I'm going to have two, possibly three, or possibly even four meals out of this pan. Oh, 
on there for another half an hour maybe. See what happens then.